Yes, you are. Yeah, just realizing that the the best thing um, is like truly recognizing the evil that's within you, but like really realizing and seeing it, and not like intellectually just knowing like because you heard it, because um, it takes away this like stigma of like trying to be good or trying to like raise raise to this expectation. Yeah. And it also helps you understand everybody else around you and have less of a judgment over yourself and others. But people are afraid to do it to be to admit the evils in them because then then it's that judgment that makes them believe they're a bad person. They're going they're not going to heaven. But that's the best place to be is recognize that. Absolutely. I realize. You made me realize that as soon as you can admit to yourself. You ain't got to tell the world. Oprah said, put it on TV and tell everybody, right? That's not it. As soon as you can admit to yourself that you are evil, it put God to work right away. Because you're confessing your sin. I'm evil. I have anger. The moment you can admit that, the light turns on. But if you can't admit that you are evil, then it ain't going to help you. But the moment you can admit that you are evil, and everyone is possessed until you return to the Father, start working on yourself. And all identity, I didn't know how deep, how many identity we pick up in our lifetime. And we truly think that we are that. I saw a guy and a girl at the gym, and they were kissing. And so I said, I'm going to see if they're going to look around and see if they're looking at them kissing. <laughs> they were showing affection, affection in the public, right? And the moment they, even while they were kissing, they, their eyes kind of did like that. But the moment they were ki done kissing, they looked around to see who was looking. All for the thrill. And then driving on the freeway, you know how sometimes you drive on the freeway and then you get off on the off-ramp and you... Some, some uh, bomb there and they want a dollar. Some of them want more than a dollar now. The, the bombs are going up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything going up in California. Even the bombs won't accept a dollar. <laughs> what am I buying with a dollar? I'm like, what the? Your drug prices went up too, huh? <laughs> but, uh, uh, and, and somebody hand a dollar out to the bomb. The dollar looked to the next car to see if they saw that so that they could get a dollar from you. And then the person that gave the dollar looked back to see that anyone see them giving the dollar out of the window. It's all thrill. It's all ego. But you think, oh, I feel good. They saw me give a dollar. That's why God said, let your giving be done in secret, in secret, so that you don't get the thrill from it. Because when you get the thrill from it, that's your reward. He ain't going to make you get no more money. That makes sense? It's all about the thrills. We got layers and layers and layers of mess inside of us. And we call it us. Amazing. Yes, Nick? That's really funny. There is a dollar amount on feeling like a good person. And that price is going up, too. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, man. That's pretty funny. Um, That's crazy. 